everyone. I'm sorry, I literally haven't dropped a YouTube channel in so long. Uh, my life was a little crazy. But the reason actually I decided to get back 100% on YouTube now is that I feel like nowadays uh, beauty and skincare and like become such a have such a huge impact in my life. And I was having girls asking me this, asking me that, because I used to suffer so much with acne and like those acne spots, which I still have in a little bit. I decided to actually get back on YouTube and actually now be able to share you guys the things that have helped me in, in the long term and what it works, what it doesn't work. So this is what this YouTube channel is about. Have makeup, I feel like you can be so gorgeous and so glam with makeup. But having good skin, I realize in a, now that I'm like getting older that having good skin is everything. So I just wash my face. It's literally clean. I have nothing on. Number one thing that I've been doing lately is that um, apple cider vinegar, it's amazing as a toner. Especially because I deal with a little bit of inflammation because of the acne and I feel like it helps me a lot. So what I do is that I diluted, um, sorry for I diluted the, um, the apple cider vinegar with a little bit of water and I, you can spray it on your face but because of the, I, I did, I blow dry my hair, I'm gonna do it in that. So I spray it like a little bit like that, make sure it's really, really wet. Um, and I put it all over my skin just to literally tone it it won't be smelling really bad. I know people say, like, does it smell stay? Uh, no, you will smell it because you just apply it, but I feel I really get in, especially on my pores areas and the parts that I really uh, hurt. Like I really have a dark, dark spot. So after I do the apple cider vinegar, I like to use a serum because a serum is everything. So I put a little bit of serum and I spread it everywhere. Don't forget the neck, by the way. One thing that my mom always used to tell me is that the neck, it's still part of your face as well. Always up. One thing that I learned, you do this motion for the eyes, always up around the lip, or even touching the lips. And I do the neck. I'm Brazilian and I love to be tan but the sun is really not good in a long term why don't forget the neck why because it's gonna give you some dark spot as you get older um i have it a little bit already that's why i've been having hard time dealing with i have to like always do chemical pills as you guys know and um right now i'm actually trying to look for a good bleach cream so i can get rid of my sun spots so i literally put everywhere especially on my forehead a little bit just like that and I let it soak in for a little bit because um, I don't want to like jump into a makeup but honest you girls or even guys skincare is literally everything I suffer with acne for so long in my life I was always so insecure it's like no like no because my acne is usually, was usually here like my because of my hormones and I, I was in uh, medication for so long and it still didn't work, it was drying my skin. Um, so after a while I realized that, that is what you eat, it's how you take care of your skin and like always have make sure your hands are clean, don't touch your hands and if it gets too oily during the day, go out and just wash it off. Don't use, you, washing your skin too much can dry it out so that's why sometimes during the day I just wash it just with the clean water or I'll use a, um, a rosé like a uh, rose water and I spray it over and just tap it off. So now this makeup, I thought you guys are willing to work, What it, how I do my makeup during the day. So this is like a basic makeup during the day. I usually, I have a um, Derma Blend foundation that it helps with acne so it's not so harsh in your, um, in your face. So that's the one that I use it. As you see, it's like almost done. It's so sad. Um, I don't use as much. I usually do a little bit and Actually, it came with their uh, this beautiful um, Kooky brush. I'm not I'm not a makeup artist. So don't judge me. I don't know all of this specific names for everything um, So when I bought it, it came with this brush and I loved it. I've been using since uh, Just to like just to apply it. So I apply it the makeup every single spot, especially the spots that really uh, 
I have the dark circles, I mean the dark spots, I'm sorry. So just like that. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference. And I bring it down to the neck. My feet is like a little tangled because um, I don't have a, a nice um, uh, setup yet. So maybe uh, soon as my videos get better, so I'll make sure to have better uh, stabilizer for my camera. So just like that. That's not mine. The concealer, I've been using a Bare Mineral. Um, I like their stuff a lot because it's very, very natural. So I don't go as crazy on concealer like a lot of girls does. But this eyes, because I sleep on this eyes, a bad habit, by the way. Um, I always tend to look more tie on this side which this is my good side, <laughs> which is really sad. Uh, so I usually try to just get rid of this side because this is kind of like bothers me a little. And I just bring a little bit down. I try to just match. And because I have some sort of um, dark spots around my lips, I just do there. That's it. That's all I do during the day as a makeup. Uh, because here I have the dark circle, the dark spots. I'm sorry, and this eye area I have. I'm more usually more tired than this, so I use a little bit more in here. So beauty blender, which every, I'm pretty sure every girl have one. If you don't, you'll get one. It's the best thing. I start one here, normal, and then I do the eye. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just like that. Settle. I do love uh, the trend listen for Laura Mercier. I love them. I've been using for a while. I got introduced it on the set and uh, all my makeup artists was using it. I love the way the consistency it doesn't it doesn't plug my pores which that was a big thing for me because since I deal with uh, acne problems, I didn't want like, I didn't want a setting product that was gonna pluck my pores. So I've been using this one for, I would say, a good two years. <laughs> so that's why I can truly say that it's nice. It is not, it's not gonna affect your skin. Just like that, I usually leave it before I like, just gonna brush it off. Um, so that's how I do my face. And to just like bling it in ar around, I usually, I don't contour as much as a lot of girls do. Um, so I I have, I've been using this Smashbox, as you see, I've been using it a lot. It's like my favorite one for all the time. So I get like a little bit. I usually start with my chin. Just like that. Trying to create some sort of like contour it. always circle motion um a lot of my makeup artists always told me like francie make sure always circle motion and go this way and go that way i was like huh so i do this and this just to kind of like contour your you, can, you pretty much contour is pretty much building your face like you know the chin the cheeks and the chin Whew, this is so shaky So I have a secret to tell you guys. I do contour my nose and my this area. Why? Because I wanna, even though I have tiny nose, I was blessed to be born with a tiny nose. I like my nose tinier. So I usually do this area just to pop my lips and a little bit on the nose, even though sometimes Sometimes I even leave the house with just like concealer, but I always contour my nose. Why? I don't know. It's one of those things that I got introduced to it once, and I like I was like, oh my god, it makes such a difference. <laughs> and I create a little bow, just like that. 
I don't go so crazy. A little bit more. That's it. Um, that's pretty much what I do, honestly. Um, then to take, I wish I got um, what I was gonna do now. Got confused. Um, I have like a setting powder, normal like setting powder, and uh, with the same brush, I just. Do it in this area so it was not so oily just to like powder the makeup and in here I live very close to a, a um, busy neighbor a busy highway um, so usually if you guys are hearing some noise in the background is the traffic LA traffic I start with my eyebrows my dog Vader bit my uh, brush so I broke and I haven't been able to buy a new one because I don't know which one it was. So uh, don't judge me because I'm using it with this tiny little brush. I'm gonna contour. I mean, highlight my eyebrows a little bit, just like that. Shit out, and then I bring a little back. That's it. That's all I do on my eyebrows. Um, and then to settle, uh, because I did, as you saw, like I did put like some sort of like um, uh, foundation on it. So I'm just gonna get a, a normal, normal like flat brush, like kind of, I don't know how they call, I'm not a makeup artist, so please don't judge me. And this beautiful palette, I like that this color, it's like, it's not so white, but it's white enough that's gonna like kind of highlight my eyebrows. Sorry, I'm like trying not to. I'm gonna use my own mirror there. I didn't want it to be in the camera. Uh, see, it just gave you that little bit. See, not so much. They're so pigmented. Uh, this uh, there's a palette. I love, even though they're they're because I was afraid because the fact that they're vegan, if it was gonna be pigment or not. But they actually are. I was like impressed. So I put a bit on the inner corner. Bring it out. Done. The poofy brush, whatever they call, because I don't know. Maybe I'll learn one day. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do something so much. I'm just gonna use two colors. I'm just gonna use this one. It's like a brownish. I got a little bit because I don't want to use so much. You're supposed to blow. Actually, I learned that you can only blow it on your brushes if they're on makeup because. When you blow it, sometimes uh, your germs can come into the brushes. So I had some makeup products who told me, like, for instance, don't blow on your brushes because it's not so sanitized. You're supposed to just do this. And if you're a real makeup artist, you never do that in a client because I got, I got yelled at um, sometimes when I use my friend's makeup and I forgot in a brush and I was like, fuck, I'm not supposed to do it. But so you always this. I just saw I just forgot about it. So I'm just going to like pretty much contour my, bring that, create that crease, just like that, a little bit, create that crease, that's all I'm going to use, as you see that, time, that side, I use it too much than this one, so I can go back with this brush because I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know how to do it that well. And I can always take it off. See? I can just like that. And then I can go back and do it right. Bad. And then I like to always like light up this part of the eye, the eyelid. I think that's what I call. My English is a little bad sometimes, as you guys know. So don't judge me on that too. It's okay, so it's later. So I'm gonna use this color, the one next to the white. Um, I wish I knew the color's name. Oh, Risque, ooh, Risque. Um, take the sass. And I guess this one, you just press it. Press it, done. See how pretty that is? 
and you just press it on the eyelid on this part of the eye eyelid I think that's what I call it you just press it motorcycle just press it and then you go back with that I'm gonna go back with that same brush and just like blend whatever thing that I have going on here makeup I have so many like proper English to proper things you're supposed to say like I guess it's like a proper way to say it but my English is not good my makeup skills is not that good so you guys know what I'm doing you guys can see it just like that simple right so now I will I I go back and I take off that assess of that powder Make sure my powder. Hmm. Then I finish my skin with a little bit of um, blush. Blush, so cute. I like the Stila one. I do, as you see, I've been using them too for a while too. <laughs> I'll learn. My brow is showing. Mm. Mm. Big smile. <gasps> Done. Finish this whole thing. I like doing my under eyes a little bit because, as you see, I still have some sort of like um, tiredness in this eye. So I usually do the under eye a little bit. So it's because that kind of bothers me a little bit. So I go back with that same color and I just put a little bit under and I feel like it blends more to honest with you guys I do my makeup like this and like I would say 15 minutes but today because I'm talking it's taking a little bit longer <laughs> but usually it's really really fast no. Ooh. huh and I have this thing that I like not many people don't like but I think it looks pretty on my face if I can find it first oh here so I liked I'm sorry so I like to uh, liner in my eyes and uh, up on top of my eyelid like the the little here I usually bring my own eyelid up I don't know why I like that and uh, here I just think it's sexy uh, my mom always used to do it, but I just like the way it looks after. It just like makes my eyes pop a little bit. And then I go back with that brush that I just used and I just blend it in just to make sure everything got blend. Because I don't use, I don't use liner, so I just use the lip line inside the both sides, down the bottom and the top. And I'm gonna finish with the L'Oreal Balm and Mascara. I love them, I think they're so nice. A lot of my makeup artists use them on set and it doesn't transfer, uh, which that's like a big thing because if you like on set all day long, you don't wanna have that, no, when the mascara just transfer and it looks horrible in pictures. So I like the way this one I hold all day long. So after the thing is done, um, my lips. I have, as you see, I even buy the CVS brand. I have this, the healing oiling treatment that I usually like to put it on my lips before I put any kind of sore lipstick because it just moisturizes my lips so good. And this is one of the best. Like just the normal uh, healing uh, oiling treatment is the best thing for your lips. The lip color, I was not gonna use lip color today 
but this is a color. Same with this beautiful, they sent me actually so much. Um, so I'm gonna try this color. I haven't even used it yet. I literally just getting off the box. So I wanna see how it feels. It's just so pretty. Can you see that? It might be a little too much, but who cares, babe? Ooh. I don't contour my lips a lot because I don't know how to. I always messed up. I always like one part and then I've been bigger than the other part. So I would just put the lipstick on. Mmm, it's pretty, right? Alright, so makeup is done. A lot of people use setting powder, setting makeup. I like to use, as you see, it's almost done. I like to use uh, the rose water. I and I love the smell. Oh my god, it smells so good. Literally so good. Um, so I let it. You're supposed to blow to make sure it heals. Ooh, look at those guns. Oh my goodness. Ooh. It's like whoo. It's like showing. So makeup is done. Um, I blow dry my hair yesterday, uh, so I usually leave it up when I'm doing my makeup. And I, uh, so this is my makeup, and the normal, not so crazy, not so khaki. Uh, as you see, I do take care of my skin in a long way. I make sure everything is moisturized. Everything is just sunblock always. Toner before anything. A good serum. Um, if you're moisturized, the way if your sunblock is already have moisturized, don't you don't have to put as much. So because you don't want to like the makeup to like be so khaki. Always moisturize your lips, and that's it. So um, with this YouTube channel, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll be talking a lot of skincare. I'm not a makeup artist, but I know some tricks here and there, and I learned so much about skincare, and I know how my important skincare it is. And I want to share it with you guys. So if you did like it, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have anything to say, please give me a comment too. Like make fun of my English. No, they always do. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm about to go about my day. I don't know if my hair is gonna go this way or that way. Hmm. And let me know you guys what you like guys like to see in the next video. If you guys wanna see more about skin, about hair care, fitness. As you see, I work out a little bit. Plastic surgery, as you see, I know a little bit too. <laughs> um, anyways, I just wanna say thank you everybody and I'll see you guys in the next video. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go take a selfie, you know, because I don't look this good all the day, all the time. Mm.